Hey, so over the years, humans have imported other animals from all across the world. Sometimes it's because a species is just so cute that we have to take it out of its natural environment. And other times it's because we need them to solve a problem we can't, like eating a bunch of annoying bugs. But if the species doesn't have a natural predator in their new home, they can become a problem all their own. So imagine me throwing a bowling ball at your head. That's what it feels like when an Asian carp leaps out of the water and smashes boom boom into your face. They weigh 100 pounds or 45.4 kilograms and they can jump as high as 10 feet. Motorboats scare the heck out of them, so it's not uncommon for hundreds of them to suddenly bound through the air. So why would we bring these native Asian fish to America? Because it turns out they're really good at clearing algae out of catfish ponds. They've spread rapidly across the country. Now carp are poised to ruin the $7.5 billion fishing industry. So we're poisoning rivers and we're building electric underwater fences to kill them off. Ironically, however, carp are rare in China, so some fishermen here are actually selling them back there to be served as a delicacy. And speaking of China, in 1882, golden bamboo was brought from China to Alabama to provide a natural visual and sound barrier for privacy. Like some kind of monster that grows up to 40 feet tall, this bamboo overtakes everything as it spreads, destroying other plants and the homes they provide to local animals. As of 2010, the United States spends $138 billion a year fighting against these menacing plants. And then there are rabbits. Now, I know what you're thinking. Everybody supposes the bunnies are cute and harmless, but those twitchy little noses tail another tail. They're only native to Southern Europe and Northern Africa, and yet now rabbits are on almost every continent, and they reproduce very quickly. They eat and burrow through everything, causing soil erosion and landscape damage. Quick example, 1859, right? This farmer buys 24 rabbits, takes them to Australia. Since then, they have bred into the millions, and this is how how brutal these bunnies are. In 1950, Australia tried biological warfare and killed 500 million rabbits, but bunnies developed a resistance to the myxomatosis virus and have replenished their millions lost for the next stage of their offensive campaign. And don't get me started on starlings. It's gotten out of hand. We can blame William Shakespeare, oddly enough, for the infestation of European starlings here in the United States. In 1890, some fans of the bard wanted North America to be home to every bird mentioned in his play for some reason. So they released starlings into the wild. Fast forward to now, we've got 200 million of these things flying around in flocks of a million or more. They devastate the land. They eat all the grapes, the olives, the cherries. They even eat the feed from troughs for livestock and poultry. Starling flocks are so large that they've even caused planes to crash. And have you heard about cane toads? They were imported to the US and Australia to devour the insects that ruin sugarcane crops. These guys will eat almost any terrestrial animal and they'll also fight them for territory. And here's the thing, they'll win too because they secrete a toxin that can sicken and kill wildlife. Yes, even humans. Our best hope against cane toads appears to be bioengineering them so that they only give birth to males and can no longer reproduce. Of course, it's not like that could ever go catastrophically wrong, right? To learn more about invasive species, visit our article on 10 invasive species at HowStuffWorks.com. And which ones are currently infesting your area? Let us know in the comments below. And for more What the Stuff, please click subscribe. So you're asking yourself, why would we bring these native Asian fish to America? Because it turns out they're really good at spreading algae out of, we already have that part anyway. Oh, at clearing algae out of, and speaking of China, in 1882, golden bamboo was brought from China to, I'm <coughs> sorry, can you go back to the, 